Now, in the political scene, and just three days left of the current parliamentary session, which comes to an end this Thursday. Now, with time running out, the ruling Senate Party called on the opposition bloc to fulfill their legislative duties before shifting focus to the upcoming general election in April. Our political correspondent Chimangil has more on today's parliamentary affairs. The ruling Senate Party on Monday accused the main opposition Minju Party of Korea of neglecting their legislative duties. Ever since the Minju Party stopped its filibuster, they've been neglecting their duties and are only concerned about merging liberal forces for the upcoming general election. Full leader one emphasized the importance of passing a bill to promote Korea's service industry and four bills to restructure Korea's rigid labor market. He said the bills would help create new jobs and revive Korea's sluggish economy. However, the Minju Party showed unwillingness to grant the ruling party any leeway in processing government-backed bills. We won't allow the Sinari Party to force through the four labor reform bills that we've tried so hard to block. If those bills pass, it could lead to a push for privatizing health care and even amend the Constitution to suit their party's interests. The four labor reform bills are aimed at improving working conditions for contract workers and compensation to workers involved in accidents while commuting to work. However, the opposition party says it will take more than a few new bills to get Korea's economy back on track. Meanwhile, the presidential office of Cheong Hwa on Monday also stressed the need for parliament to pass the four labor reform bills, the service industry development bill and the cyber terrorism bill within February's extra session. With a handful of bills remaining on its agenda, the Senate Party called for the Minju Party's cooperation to open the March extra session immediately after Thursday. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.